Hello my loves and welcome back to part two of this Zara autumn winter haul. Nice little essentials but also a few little bits sprinkled in there that you can maybe wear on nights out. More classy, sophisticated looks and just like key essential capsule wardrobe basics really. Um, I am however doing, if you are waiting for the sparkles, a very gorgeous mango Christmas haul that's coming up. So make sure you subscribe with the alarm bell button on, not to miss that one. Let's get into today's video. I'm so excited to start. If you've missed part one, feel free to go and watch that first, but you can obviously watch it at the end too. Absolutely no need to watch them in any specific order. So I am just very, very excited because I hadn't shopped at Zara for, well, I hadn't done an online order for about six months, which is a really long time for me. So yeah, the sparkles are coming, but let's just get into today's video. So the first thing I picked up is something I am kind of lacking in my wardrobe, actually. I've got a lot of darker coats, like black coats, dark grey coats, lots of just like darker tones, even like some navy ones, but I am lacking something in between like a cream and a camel. I feel like it was a stone. That's what I was missing. The stone coat. Um, and I really actually wanted this in black, but... I do think I have ordered a black coat in the other one because I am lacking a specific type of black coat also. However, this is it in this colour because I felt like I needed to pick it up in both because I really, really liked it. Um, it's actually matching this very tonally, very well. I do find with the Zara coats sometimes though, they can be like too oversized, so I'm quite intrigued to see how this fits. Um, it does look quite nice. It's absolutely gigantic. I did have this fear. And I mean, if you had like a chunky jumper on, it wouldn't be as bad, but anywho, I'll, pop, I'll do a proper cutaway um, of me trying it on so you can see it properly. But I just want to just check it on so we can actually talk about it a bit better. But I think that's gonna have to go back, unfortunately. The color though is beautiful. The material is stunning. I think it's a really good price point as well. Yeah, 69.99. I actually picked it up. It's called a boucle coat from them it's the same length same shape as this but it's like a gorgeous camel almost like teddy berry but without being like young if, if you know what i mean like i feel like sometimes the teddy bear the, the traditional teddy bear coats look a little bit young i love them but i just think they're not really me anymore so this i feel like i'll just show you actually in a bit <laughs> rather than really trying to explain to you it's literally just out there so i'll go and show it to you in a bit but anyway really love this and it's a really good price point that's what i'm saying zara's got good coats at good price points at the minute because a lot of the high street stores have gone quite high on their coats this year i've noticed like river island and new look both brands i love and both brands i shop at regularly but they're just quite expensive for like what i know everything in the world has gone up but it's just really surprised me they're like 90 pound 100 pound 110 pounds i'm like it's high street you know even in tesco the other day there was a coat and it was like 50 50 50 or 60 pounds and i was like I'm in Tesco, like, I'm not in Marks, and Marks is good quality for the, for the price, like, I'm actually thinking Marks is, like, becoming the best, my, my favourite, anyway, I'm off on a tangent, but I'll just get back into this, because I've got too many nice things to share with you, so, in the last video, part one, I shared this with you in white, which was absolutely gorgeous, oh, there's a pull right on the front of it, oh, I wanted to take this with me as well, I'm going to Bruges in, like, two days, and... I want to take this with me. <laughs> but I won't be taking that with me because it's got a pull on the front, which I'm devastated about. Oh, so annoying. Also, one of the other tops from the other haul came with, um, like, the zip broken. I'm like, come on, Zara. Come on, Zara. I know you're doing me good favours with the pricing, but I don't want shit tat, all right? <laughs> so it's got these gorgeous pearl buttons. Really, really love these. Really, really elegant. Really, really gaily. I feel like it's coming up a bit purpley, but it's it's a very nice bright pink, like a proper true pink. I think it's lovely. The material is so soft, so cozy. Now you'll see the size difference if you watch the other video too, because I tried the other one on in a medium. This one is a large. So you'll be able to see a bit of the size difference. However, I do think some of the Zara clothes are much for much, and I think it's not that much difference between them. And yeah, I do really like it, very cute, but unfortunately it's gonna go back because it's got a pull in it. Ooh, that looks nice. So I was basically saying the reason for this whole kind of order was I needed to top up on some basics before I went away. And I also needed to top up on some like really nice tops. I just felt like I was lacking nice dressier tops 
that weren't like strappy or your whole skin out like maybe but you know, maybe um strapless or strappy i didn't really have any like long sleeve classy tops so hence why i started to do this order um and then it got carried, very carried away <laughs> So I picked up this one. I'd be intrigued to see what this is like on. I feel like it's a little bit Marmite. It's a little bit hit or miss. It's giving me a little bit witchy vibes, but I'm hoping it'll be nice on. I absolutely love anything to do with a frill detail, a frill sleeve, and I love the sheerness of the sleeves. I think that's really beautiful and a nice touch. I actually do like the plissé, plissé, it's probably not how you pronounce it, but that material. Um, and I do like the little frill collar around the neckline. So I do think it could be a hit. It's 29 I have noticed a lot of the stuff, unintentionally I've ordered, is cropped. So it's only quite short. And what I, the one I've actually got on today as well, which is I think is a shame, because I think this would be absolutely gorgeous if it's a bit longer, is cropped. You know, I probably would wear my trousers are just a bit big for me, so they're a bit low. As long as it's, you know, there's no belly out, I don't mind a crop, but I wouldn't want it like, woo! <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really know what's what's going on with all the Zara's because I picked up quite a few nice knitted jumpers in the other haul but a lot of them are cropped like again unintentionally I don't mind a shorter one because it looks nice with high waisted but cropped mm, mm, mm. I don't know anyway I forgot to say hello hi I'm Katie and I also forgot to mention I'm a size UK 12 and I'm 5 foot 9 just for any reference and I normally pick everything up in a large if I don't mention the size it's probably a large otherwise feel free to ask me a comment and I will do my best to help you um, if there's anything I've missed not linked down below then also again just ask in the comments and I will sort that out for you okay um, another thing I picked up which I'm really confused because I feel like it's the same as this but it's just a different tone maybe is this a different tone I feel like is it the same but maybe more goldy I'll have to check like the number on them this was £25 and I think they are exactly the same apparently this was just really creased <laughs> I think it's just a different tone, but it's this cute top that I'm basically wearing now. I, again, I just think it's like a nice, easy, this is going to be so versatile, like so versatile. You can wear this with jeans, wide leg trousers, midi skirts, short skirts and boots. You can, oh, like literally anything. You can literally just wear this with anything. You can wear it probably to the office with some high-waisted jeans, maybe. You can wear it for like after the office drinks with some, some skinny jeans, wide leg jeans, high leg jeans. I feel like they just go with everything. And for £30, I think it's a pretty good price point. I feel like I'm going to have to iron this before I try it on though. Because you know when you're like, I can't get a good idea of something when it's this creased. But anyway, hopefully it'll be great. And hopefully it'll be lovely. And hopefully we love it. Because I love this one. Um, and I think this could be one of my new go-tos. Does anyone else make a cup of coffee, completely forget about it, and then go to drink it and it's always lukewarm? with me so I'll take everything I just said back about teddy bear coats because <laughs> clearly I didn't realize I wanted this I do feel it's a different version though okay it's like the 2.0 this is like the the new version of teddy coats so it's a mix between the very very viral coat that was our cat mango have done with these really cute buttons on the front I really like this I think it looks really really nice really really chic really elegant really nice paired with like leggings and some like high top flat boots almost like riding boots and also like skinny jeans and those boots I love that that way with this styled however this is like longer I thought it was a jacket but it's like long I don't even remember all in this <laughs> I'm like did I actually order this but it is really cute but it is really long look how long it is keeps going it's like full length I will try it on see what you think I picked this up an extra large don't know why I did that maybe it's sold out in other, other sizes um and it's 79.99 so let's see how this fits on oh I probably ordered this because of we're going to Bruges and it's going to be cold it's going to be like four to eight degrees and I'm just scared it's going to be freezing my uh thermal leggings just arrived <laughs> And I also needed to pop into town either today or tomorrow to pick up some tights to wear under my trousers because I definitely need them. But I think it's probably my idea in ordering this was that. And then also when you see the next one, you'll realize why too. Oh, I really like this one. This is like really old school. This kind of reminds me of like, 
quite retro. Something you'd find in like a 70s vintage shop or something. I feel like Reese will hate it. <laughs> but I really like it. Oh my God. Look at the inside. So very. Anything that feels like I'm wearing a blanket and looks good, I'm down for. This is a bit of me. I really like it. I love the tone. I love the colour. I love the fur. I love the buttons. I love it all. And it's 69 dollars I love the price. I think this would look really lovely with just like regular jeans, Ugg boots, maybe black wide leg jeans and your Uggs. Very Christmas market vibes. Nice cosy scarf, nice little hat. Oh, I hope this one looks nice. I really like it. And that's actually the end of our haul. I feel like that was really quick compared to uh, part one. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any favorites down below. Let me know if you've had any good shopping trips to Zara recently too, because I'm all ears for finding new bits. Um, and I really enjoyed that little order. I'm really glad Zara has become back on my shopping list. Although my bank balance, maybe not so much. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're following on all of my other social media platforms. I have exactly the same name, I'll pop it here. And I will hopefully see you in next week's Mango Haul. It's a sparkly party wear, very glam, but very like classy and very wearable also. So yeah, I'm very excited for that one and I shall see you then. Bye.